I have given suck and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would while it was smiling in my face. It's known as the Scottish play. One of Shakespeare's bloodiest tragedies, Macbeth, is playing at the UK's Royal Shakespeare Theatre in Stratford-upon-Avon, Warwickshire. Former Doctor Who Christopher Eccleston is the power-hungry title character. As tradition has it, each adaptation brings its own approach to the work. And this one focuses on the murderous couple's relationship dynamics in a contemporary setting. It really is the story of a relationship set against the descent into madness of, an in, uh, of two individuals. Um, but it really is about a marriage. And we have a great friend, an actor called Paul Higgins, who said to me, he said, oh, I'll, 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 you know, I love rehearsal because you're finding things out. But our aim, I think, will be to still, still be experimenting on stage. Otherwise, it'll die. And we'll go crazy in Stratford, you know, just doing the same thing, printing it out. Go, we'll go mad. The crew rehearsed in London for eight weeks with director Polly Findlay. They believe it brought different elements to the play that they hadn't noticed before. I really love rehearsal and I particularly love rehearsal with Polly and Chris because they know each other and, and there's a real freedom and a playfulness uh, to the rehearsal. And I remember um, a playwright called Tom Stoppard saying that rehearsal is the wine of life. Mm -hmm. And I think it is the wine of life because you, there's a lot of things that happen in rehearsal. There's the discovery of the play. There's discovery of the other actors. I, I, I mean, I knew Chris as a friend of a friend, really. So over these past eight weeks, I've got to know Chris, how he works, his imagination. And that's really exciting because actually, the play, you know, this, our little Macbeth, mm -hmm. or our big Macbeth, is to do with everybody who's been involved in it. And they're each imagination that has contributed mm -hmm. to what we eventually present on the stage. And it's so surprising what you think you know or what you think you don't know and suddenly you discover because of the other person. The story of Macbeth has been captivating people for centuries. And Eccleston's role is no exception. We should fail! The two-time BAFTA nominee says, underneath all the bloodshed and sinister witchcraft, he's able to connect with the tragic hero. Everybody I've ever met, certainly from the male species, are deeply flawed. Um, so I think even at 17, I thought that's me. Which is obviously not to say that I'm going to kill anybody, but certainly the capacity in... I, I, I just, I don't know, there was a violence to him, a darkness to him, a regret. Um, it's very emotional. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. It, uh, things stuck like time and the hour run through the roughest day stuck. And the moment where he says, I'm so far in blood that should I return, should I wade no more return. Uh, extraordinary oh, things. Which I don't know, just captured my imagination like no other character, no other play has since or before. For thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Macbeth runs until mid September in the UK, and it will also visit Australian and US cinemas through live screenings between May and July. When we have marked with blood those sleepy two of his own.